And we said that adults cost, we'll, we'll, we'll make it up, we'll say $125 for like a two day park hopper deal. And kids cost, we'll make it 105 I think it's pretty, yeah, I really do. I think it's close. How big's your family? Four. Family four. Let's make a family five. We'll do two adults and three kids. So we're going to take two adults and three kids to Disneyland. Let's figure out how to solve this problem and figure out how much it's going to cost us for two days of magical fun. <laughs> Happiest place on earth. The saddest place on earth. Oh. Yeah. Who says happiness is free? Uh, it costs a lot of money. So you got two adults. <laughs> Those churros, though. Man, they're good. Uh, you gotta pay for the food. It's like $30. Yeah, I know. Yeah, this is without food, right? This is yeah, just, this is just get, in the get in the door. And three kids. Three seventy-five dollars for a bottle of water. Oh, I know. $10 for a little bitty burger. Yeah. You need 13 of them. Oh, my God. Food's expensive. It's good though. It's good. Good burgers. Okay, so we have two adults and we have three kids. Someone out there, I'm looking at the right hand side of the room. Left hand side, you guys have been great all day. Right hand side, I haven't got that much out of you. Let's work on this together. What's the process for getting this down, for figuring it out? What do you? What do we need to do? Is this just a single multiplication problem? Do you think? No. No. Okay. So give me one thing that we are going to need to multiply though. Good, great, because we have 125 and two adults. So that's one thing we're gonna do. You could, couldn't you like, with that, you could just like add two. We could add those together, right? Because yeah. multiplication of times two is really just repeated addition yeah. once. Or if you really want to, you could just add two 125 times. I can't blame, but you could do that. Okay, so great, we're gonna be able to figure this one out. How do we calculate how much your three kids are gonna cost? Okay, three. The 125 again? 105. Okay. So 105 times three. After we figure out these products, how are we going to figure out the total? Add. Add the two. So if we add those together, that's what the and actually means. Add them together. We are in, we're going to have the 250. We're going to have the 315. Hopefully that's 315, right? Yeah. How much? 565. That's less than I thought, really. I thought it was going to be something. If you book it up fast, they might throw it. <laughs> they might give you a pair of uh, ears. Oh, it makes it all worth it after that. So to go to Disneyland for two days, it's going to cost you $565. Go have fun. Have a great weekend. But that's at least you can figure that out ahead of time, right? You don't want to go down there and stand in line, and then they go, yeah, that'll be like a million dollars. And you're like, oh, what the heck? So at least you can budget this way. You figure things like that out. Yeah, of course. I don't know either. <laughs> you got two fifty here? Okay. Uh, one more thing. In your book, they have a couple sections before every section of homework that talks about how to use a scientific calculator. If you are awesome with a scientific calculator, give yourself a pat on the back and skip those sections. If you don't really know how to use a calculator, would you please read those sections just before every one of the homeworks that we do in this classroom? It will show you how to use it. It will give you all the buttons laid out and say, this is how you uh, manipulate your calculator. It's really a good idea. If that doesn't work for you, come and see me, and I will show you in person how to do that. Okay, we're done with 1.5.